Hey, it's Nick here again from Grayscale Gorilla. I am the gorilla, and first of all, I wanted to say thank you for those of you who watched the last video and left a comment. It was so nice to see you guys. Say hi, say welcome back, say nice beard, all the nice comments. I always love reading through all those. And in fact, it inspired me to flip on the webcam again today and say thank you and also address some of the questions and uh, talk about some of the recommendations you guys gave me in that video. Um, one of the recommendations, a piece of software that you guys recommended actually changed my entire workflow. So much so that I, uh, I made a video for Plus talking all about it. And that uh, piece of software is called Parsec. If you have not checked out Parsec, definitely go check it out. It was recommended by Morris, Bobby, Johnny, and Namal on the last YouTube video. And it is a better replacement for Chrome Remote Desktop. And by better, I mean it's way, uh, way better latency. It allows me to log in using the software and use my PC as almost as if I'm sitting right in front of it. It is really, uh, it's really impressive what it does uh, and it's free to try out. So go give it a shot. If you're stuck at home, you're working uh, away from your main machine like I am, definitely check out Parsec. And if you're in plus, definitely check out the video I just made for that where I show you how I set it all up. I'm on my Mac, I'm on my PC. I'm on my Mac, it's pretty crazy. Um, also, if you are a Plus member, we just released S22 training that should be in your library any minute now. We also released a Q&A with me and Chad where we answered your questions directly. We sat down and answered, uh, I think 10 or 12 of your questions from Grayscale Gorilla Plus uh, right there. And I think it went well enough where we'll do another one again. So if you're a Plus member, look for that email where you can ask us directly a question and we'll answer it in an upcoming episode. Okay, um, what else? Well, I got a question from the comments last time. So please keep the questions coming. Uh, it'll inspire me to hopefully do another one of these videos. But I got a question here from Jim Arthur that says, hey Nick, can you please tell me what you're using for your camera, your lighting, and your microphone? It says, very nice picture. Thank you, Jim. Uh, and he also said he just updated everything for S22. Awesome, thank you. Which by the way, all of our stuff is now compatible with S22 if you haven't uh, updated your plugins, log in your account, get the new version, you'll be all set. Jim, uh, let me show you around here. Uh, and if you see something you want me to go into more detail, let me know, I could maybe do that in a future video. So first of all, this webcam is an HD 1080p Logitech webcam. This webcam's a couple years old, but it's way better than what is built into um, the, the Max. It's just way cleaner, way, it's also way wider, so you have to be careful about what's behind you. It, it's capturing like a huge wide uh, range, but it's way better in low light, it's a nice camera. Uh, for lighting, I have, hopefully you can see this, a ring light. Uh, I wanna say these are newer brand, N-E-W-E-R. Um, usually I have two of them, I have to set up the other one. Uh, but this has kind of given me this, this nice little light here. And, um, and then audio. So audio is super important to me. I was originally an audio engineer. Uh, and to me, audio is more important than video. So let me run you quickly through my audio setup. It starts with this Heel Heil microphone. And uh, it's a dynamic microphone, which means it needs uh, some good preamps to make it sound good. So let me run you through the, the tack, the, the tack. What am I saying? Tech stack. The audio stack. It's running through this DBX, and this is controlling the uh, preamp. It's giving it some more volume. It's got a little compression going on right here. It does some other fancy things like DSing and enhancing, and uh, it also has a gate in it as well, which is nice. Uh, so this allows me to, it doesn't pick up random stuff uh, that's happening in the room, like if my computer fans are going or if my dog, dog barks in the other room. Uh, gate helps a ton. All of this is going into my focus right, and then that is the interface that's going into my machine. Um, if you don't want to go through all of this setup with a with an analog mic and in the processing, get uh, like a Rode microphone. The Rode Podcaster is a great one. Chad uses that. Um, uh, a lot of people in Grayscale Gorilla use that Rode Podcaster. It sounds great. It's almost zero setup plug it in and go. The thing I will recommend is a spider mount. So if you do move your mic around a lot, 
and mic placement is important. You do want it relatively close to your uh, mouth here. You, what you don't want to have is all the noise from bumping into the mic. If I grab this mic, you're going to probably hear that. Nobody wants to hear that. Instead, I could grab around the spider, grab the arm, and now I'm isolated because this is floating in like a little spider web. Anyway, probably went into too, too much detail, but let me know if you want me to dive into anything or if I didn't get answer your question, I'll try to address it in a future video. Um, what else is going on? I wanted to, uh, many of you were asking about my routine and working from home. I wanted to recommend this uh, to you guys. Um, make sure you have some sort of routine. I've been finding that while I'm stuck at home here, that the days that I wake up and I just kind of fall into my office or fall into my phone, those are the days where hours go by and I'm like, oh man, I didn't even know it was noon. I didn't even know it was two o'clock. When I actually wake up and and you know take a shower and put my pants on and sit at my desk, there's a, a sense of momentum that really helps me get started with the day. And this isn't just a, a COVID-19 uh, suggestion. This is what helped me when I was working from home when I started Grayscale Gorilla. Um, I loved work, I loved what I did, but I did find myself a little unmotivated when I didn't have that routine, when I didn't have that momentum. So if uh, you're finding yourself in the same predicament, try having a morning routine. You can take time for yourself, work out, you know, yoga and meditate, anything else you wanna add to it, but just have a routine and have a start time. I'm definitely not perfect at it, but it does help me in the day. Um, last thing I wanted to do is recommend a book for those of you out there that are, uh, again, stuck at home looking maybe for something to read. This has been one of my favorite books for a very, very long time. It's called uh, It's Not How Good You Are, It's How Good You Want to Be. Um, kind of a cheesy title, but it is my type of book, man. It's you, you could flip this open to any one page and have something very uh, helpful. Uh, I'll just say this, it helped me in my career. It helped me in, uh, in my advertising career. It helped me in my business career. Um, and it's just small, inexpensive little book. Um, and definitely check this one out. Uh, and if you want another book recommendation, let me know in the comments, I'll do another one. If you're, if you're like, I don't care, Nick, let me know that too. I just wanna hear from, I just wanna hear from somebody I'm locked in the house here. That is it for today. Do not forget, we are having a 30% off sale over at Grayscale Gorilla. Um, for, for those of you at home, we wanted to make it easy for, for you guys to join Plus, grab a plug-in, check out the 30% off sale. It's happening through the end of May. So get over there and do that. Uh, and that's it. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying safe. Thank you guys so much for uh, reaching out, saying hi, uh, and uh, hopefully I'll do another one of these in, uh, in, a, in a little bit. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay sane during all this craziness. Hope you're doing well, and I'll see you in a video real soon. Bye, everybody. I think I had too much coffee today. That was loud and fast. I apologize. <laughs>